Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're diving into one of the most unexpected places on Earth, the desert of China. While the whole world see these deserts as the wastelands, China is viewing them as opportunities. What is happening in these area? Let's find out. Desertification is the result of complex interactions between several factors, including climate change, poor hydrological conditions, poor quality vegetation, soil, and sandstorms. Each year, thousands of square kilometers of grassland are lost to the deserts. In the late 1970s, China decided to take a stand against desertification by launching the Three North Shelter Forest Program, also known as the Great Green Wall. The program aims to stop desertification in northern China, particularly the expansion of the Gobi Desert that is expanding over 10,400 square kilometers annually. This situation made a big challenge to food security and environmental stability, prompting the government to take an action. The primary goal of this program is to create a continuous green barrier only to stop desert growing, but also provide timber and improve local ecosystems. Community involvement is a one of the most important parts of the Great Green Wall Initiative. National Tree Planting Day was established in 1979, encouraging Chinese citizens to participate in afforestation efforts. Millions of people, from farmers to schoolchildren, have volunteered their time and resources. As a result, approximately 78 billion trees are planted across China in 2021. These trees serve multiple purposes. They act as windbreaks to reduce dust storms, stabilize sand dunes, and improve soil quality. The Great Green Wall Project represents one of the largest ecological engineering in history, and this movement encourages a sense of environmental stewardship and the importance of sustainable practices. Chinese government has committed to planting 88 billion trees in 2050 by focusing on various species that are resistant to arid conditions. Workers planted grasses and bushes as foundational layers before introducing big trees. They developed innovative techniques, such as the use of aerial seeding and plant cellulose, that enhances soil quality by improving the ability of retaining water and nutrients. This method has shown good results in transforming barren lands into tomatoes and corn farms that increase in local agricultural productivity. For the economic implications of the Green Great Wall project, China aims to boost rural economies. The project has created numerous job opportunities for local populations, particularly in rural areas where employment options are limited. The project has increased in forestry and ecotourism that generates a lot of revenues for both government and local people. China is also constructing a lot of renewable energy projects in these areas, such as solar panels and wind turbines, by using natural landscape of desert to produce clean energy. A lot of global researches indicate that approximately 64 million hectares have increased from 2012 to 2022. Dust storm frequency has decreased by nearly 82% since this project. Even those big accomplishments, the Green Great Wall project has faced too many challenges. Some regions in China still struggle with expanding deserts due to unsuitable planting conditions and lack of water supply. Environmentalists have raised concerns about the ecological impacts of large-scale plantations, which can disturb local biodiversity and natural habitat. Some studies indicate that while tree planting can decrease desertification effects, Careless afforestation may lead to unexpected consequences, such as soil degradation and changes in water availability. Scientists and decision makers may continue to disagree about how to balance between reforestation goals and maintaining ecological integrity. As another big major challenge in this project, most of the planted trees are non-native species that are hard to survive in local conditions. High rates of new plants mortality have been reported due to lack of water and care after planting. Planting trees in dry areas are much more difficult in reality. To address these challenges, scientists and researchers did a lot of researches and studies about soil conditions, plant growth, and climate patterns. As a solution, they developed new techniques like rainwater harvesting, drip irrigation, and planting drought-resistant plants such as Haloxylon. These methods maintain enough amount of water for growth and increased forest size from 11.52% in 2010 to over 18% today. China has also made particular laws for the prevention of desertification and forest protection as a major part of green projects. 
the authorities declared that they will protect 2 million hectares of desertified lands by the year 2025 and will manage more than 6 million hectares of sand land. Education programs are also important in this long-term process. In China, schools and communities teach the younger generation about the value of trees and the need to protect environment. They participate in various stages, including tree planting, maintenance, and monitoring of growth. This involvement ensures that the project is tailored to local conditions and needs, fostering a sense of ownership among residents. Education programs includes training sessions for local farmers on best practices for tree care and sustainable agriculture. These programs give a lot of information to maintain the health of newly planted trees and improve agricultural knowledge. China is also sharing and cooperating on knowledge related to desert greening projects with other countries to combat environmental challenges. The transformation of China's deserts into green forests is a proof of human ability and perseverance. It, it shows that with determination and cooperation, we can success on environmental challenges.